It's a pleasure and a privilege, uh, Mr. President, to have you with us here tonight. Uh, there are those who say that as host of the McLaughlin Group, I am too soft on Ronald Reagan. Well, as anyone can plainly see, it pays off. <laughs> I am grateful for your presence tonight, Mr. President, for a special reason. It gives you a chance to straighten out the panelists. I have the high privilege and the distinct honor of presenting to you the McLaughlin's Group's most important fan, the President of the United States, Ronald Reagan. I've always wanted to be on a McLaughlin show. <laughs> I was in the neighborhood and thought I'd just drop in. <laughs> but let's cut the nonsense and get down to beltway business. <laughs> Issue one. <laughs> the McLaughlin Group, three years running strong and getting stronger. Seen in, well, you just heard how many markets, and now we know that next year it's gonna play the big towns. <laughs> In just three short years, the McLaughlin Group has distinguished itself on three fronts. First, it became a stable, staple. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was a Freudian slip. Uh, in America's diet of political commentary, its intellectual nutritional values fall somewhere between potato chips and Twinkies. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you with the bark on. That's McLaughlin Group talk. Uh, Robert Novak, the Prince of Darkness. Uh, well, thank you for making that half hour every weekend something very special to look forward to. I wouldn't miss it. I can't afford to. <laughs> God bless you all. Yeah. <laughs>